Hello, I'm Dr. Shante Haynes with your truth for the week. Yes, we've been talking about prayer. We just started and we talked about asking this week. So today, how you're going to maximize your asking in prayer, how to maximize your asking in prayer. And this is your truth in five minutes or less. It's all about attitude, we said, as we start, we need to ask, ask and you shall receive. Well, the first thing that we're going to do to maximize is we're going to number one, expect. Yes, see the hindrance to our expectation is the fact that we might say, I don't think that God will, or I don't think that he can, or he's able. And if I don't think that he can, why would I ask? I wouldn't expect it. I wouldn't think that he would come through. But my number one solution to this particular hindrance is scriptural backup. Find the scriptures that back up the promises of God so that when you pray them, you know you're going to receive them. Yes, you can be like the leper that says, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Not that you are not able, but if you are willing. So it comes to the will you versus the can you. Scriptural backup says that he will, as well as the fact that he can. But the second thing is I want you to do is to be bold. Be bold in your asking. See, the hindrance there is that what I'm going to ask for is too big or it's way too much and God's not going to be able to do that. And he's really not concerned about that. Well, guess what? He's concerned about everything that's concerning you. So my suggestion for that, the application here is for you to stretch. Don't stay in your comfortable little box, but stretch. So go ahead, write down what you're asking for and then extend it make it bigger. Ask for another level. If you're asking for an increase on your job and say you want a 5% increase, instead of saying just 5%, say make it 25. Stretch it so that you know when that miracle comes through that it was nobody but God. In addition to that, I suggest that you have a prayer journal. Jot, document, jot down every prayer request, as well as the answers to prayer. So when you see some of the answers to the smaller prayers that you pray, then you'll start doing some of the bigger ones. You'll ask for more. You'll be bolder, if you would, so that you will then maximize your asking. The third thing that I'm going to give you is to be consistent in your conversation. See, the hindrance here is that I'm not asking because God doesn't know me. He doesn't remember me. It's been such a long time since we had a conversation. Now that's how humans would do. But God knows you intimately. He formed you in your mother's womb. He knows you better than you know yourself. So go ahead and just start that conversation. The best way to get over the fact that you have not been in constant conversation is for you to initiate it and then keep it up. Constant or consistent conversation. Nothing, number one, is hidden from the Lord. So don't worry about what you're going to say. It's not like he doesn't already know. But secondly, developing relationship does require time. It's time that you invest in it. So I'm saying invest in the privilege of prayer. That's what you're going to do for the application. You have to invest your time, spend it wisely. Partner with heaven in prayer. Say, Lord, I'm looking for you to intervene. And so I'm going to maximize my asking because I'm asking you for your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding. I'm asking you to put your divine hand in the midst of this. Touch my circumstance, if you would. And then the other thing that you can do here is to set a time or better yet, not just a time in the morning where I talk to you or a time in the evening where I talk to you or time in the middle of the day or me setting my watch, but I'm consistently having a conversation throughout the day, asking for your help, asking for your hand. So those are your applications to be able to maximize your asking. You're going to expect change your mind and your thought process. You're going to also be bold. You're going to stretch. And then you're going to be consistent in your conversation. This is your truth for the week because we're going to truly develop some effectual, fervent prayer life. And things are going to change because it's prayer that's going to not only change you, but it's going to change your surroundings, the circumstances around you, but it'll change the entire world. We want them to say, these are they that turn the world upside down. It's Dr. Shante Haynes with Heart to Heart Truth Ministries helping you put feet 
to your faith so that you might be able to walk victoriously just like the Lord planned. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your week. Do me a favor, like, subscribe, and share this message with someone you love. Have a fantastic day. Hi, thanks for listening and watching. And if you enjoyed what you've seen, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. And hit that notification button so you'll know the next time there's a new episode. Listen, as a result of my coaching program, my clients have experienced a calming of the emotional roller coaster. They have a compelling future, as well as the confidence and the know how to achieve it. And they have clarity on the financial tools that they need in order to live life on their terms and save tens of thousands of dollars. I'm looking for women who are devastated by the double D's divorce, or debt, who want to gain confidence to live life on their terms with peace and financial security. My question is, who do you know? Have them go ahead and book a call with me so that we can get to that compelling future. My heart may be broke, but your bank account doesn't have to be. You can find us online at h, the number two, htruth.org. At Heart to Heart Truth Ministries, we're helping believers live an abundant life based on God's word, standing on his promises, walking out his principles, sharing with God's people, serving as unto the Lord.